All right, and I'm back with another recording here. This is on the new maps. This is on the new patch. Um, and this is a TVC where if you see on the loading screen, this person actually has a master's border, but this could be fake. So you have to know where a master's is to know if that was a real master's. I don't think this guy is. So I am spawning in the top right and he is bottom left. I don't know what happened in this conversation, but I usually don't type. So we have a TVZ on a new map. I think this is Dynasty. Don't know what happened to my SCB there. I just play a normal 111 build, I believe. Yeah, so I play the triple CC build here. So this is triple CC Banshee that I play, because I'm trying to take advantage of this space. We see that he's going up to a quick lair at four minutes or so. Or 330, I should say. We have double Evo chambers. We have a third here. The Reaper Hellion does come out, but it doesn't really get to see much. Just some normal general scouting, not much. He starts his plus one quite, quite a bit faster than I get mine. The Hellion with Banshee does get to kill quite a few links, and, uh, you know, it's not economic damage, which is a bit of a stinger, but it's damage nonetheless. I'm just looking around seeing where else he goes. And by this point you can see he's actually full upgrades ahead of me here. He gets plus one before I do. And he starts plus two immediately on both. So this could get dicey. We have a fourth base coming up as well for him. We see him kill- or we don't know this, but he kills these rocks. And I go for these. And my idea here is to try to leverage this position here to hit this base and attack this and threaten it. So as you can see right here, he actually doesn't fully notice it right away, but he does pull the drones and he does get away from that. I back off knowing I probably don't have an advantage here anymore. And he's going up to uh, five bases and he is now sitting on 70 drones. So he has mostly full economy now. Whereas this push here, uh, two, two, this, uh, this uh, somehow got delayed. I don't know. I think I must have pressed escape on it by accident. But, um, he's on 70 drones. I am on 72 workers, which is good as well. But he is still ahead in upgrades in every regard. So what I try to do is I try to set up the tanks and try to bait him with some of my army. We see an investor fungal come in here. So we know that, uh, that's happening. I'm trying to just use small parts of my army to bait it out. And then, as you can see here, he gets plus one melee here because he's playing upgrade. Uh, he's going ultras. I don't fully know about this, so I don't know that this is happening. But I'm definitely not pressing the issue enough to do anything here. No scan happens here. Another fungal does land, but it uh, it's minimal, it doesn't do much. And again, plus two starts. I make the mistake of not getting um, plus uh, three three right away, like plus three uh, attack happens, but I don't get armor again. I don't know what keeps happening. And I'm trying to set this up, and he goes for this attack here, where he gets this clump of units. I pull back a little bit, and I have this squad just trying to divert the attention away. A nice fungal lads on this army, but it looks like all the ultras were kind of spread out and just didn't get to use the massive amount that he has. he has. So then I just, I, I basically hold my ground here, even though I know there are ultras here. I'm starting to get liberators. That's backwards, by the way. That shouldn't happen. This is backwards. He gets a nice fungal again. And I'm just trying to leverage this position here. 
I am aware that a flank is possible, so I try to back off and get into position, but of course, kind of gets me ahead of time, and I lose all my siege tanks for that. But I'm just going to regroup here, plus three on the way for both of them. He only has plus two, so he's actually not getting plus three, which is actually a massive mistake here. He does have kindness planning, so his ultras are a bit more, are a bit tanky. I see the drones running this way, so I suspect a base here, but I, I don't fully go for it, knowing that I'm on creep. And if I get chased out, I could just die. So I just go around here, try to get a different angle. I catch one infester here for free, basically, which is nice, but I don't realize the ultras are right there, so I have to be a bit careful doing this. And I have the idea of to go for a drop, but unfortunately he catches this and... I just use some- I just lose units for free there, which is a shame. A big mistake here is not having center towers. I need one here, here, probably here as well. A big mistake in this game is me not having sensor towers and the upgrade situation. But, uh, also I'm not- yeah, I'm not getting plus two vehicle weapons, which is not ideal. So, that's a shame. I set up the Liberator Zones. He just walks into this for no reason. I- He didn't have to do this, but he does anyway. So he basically kills the ground army, but he can't stand up to the libs. The Marie reinforcements come in and these ultras die as well. So now he's in a bit of a situation where he has no units coming in. And I try to chase out the infestors. I should also be getting lib range, which I'm not getting, which is not good either. So I, there was a lot of weird late game mistakes where I also don't have ghosts in this match, but oh well. So be it. Obviously, I don't know about this or this base. I don't know about those happening. I'm just going for, you know, his main production where I think it is. A nice fungal lands here, but unfortunately, because of the upgrades, this doesn't fully work. It's 2-2 against 3-3. This doesn't fully work with the way he thinks he does. If it had been 3-3, that's a different story. That's a different story. And he is actually barely going to get... Whoa, does he get it? Ooh, did he get that? No, he didn't get plus three armor. Damn, he got denied the plus three armor by a second. Another fungal lens, but of course it doesn't do much because this army is too big now. One lone ultra is not gonna save you. But like, that snipe barely happening is so unfortunate. This is gonna become an awkward situation because um, I don't realize that this is happening. But, uh, yeah. My SCVs are just dying. Uh, he's killed 8 workers, even though I'm still at 80. Whereas I've killed, like, 47. Yeah. And now it's basically Bio-Lib against Lingbane Ultra? Yeah. No, Hydra Ultra, I'm sorry. But basically, the, con the tension is now all in this base, and whoever tries these bases. Whoever tries these bases. We have a small engagement here, but nothing really happens. Again, this is just too much now. The the upgrades are a, a bit of a problem. Because it's 3-3 bio against, you know, 2-2 two, two, hydros. I, t I just stand my ground here. I don't even care. I'm just standing my ground in the live zones because there's nothing he can do. Because that's where he has to respect me. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, where are all your other units? <laughs> I'm actually getting plus three vehicle weapons, which is actually a mistake. This should be ship weapons. He tries to take advantage of the fact that they're not in the right position, which they aren't. But, you know, the bio count and having the upgrades in the lead that I do is not the greatest thing right about now. The reinforcements show up, and uh, yeah, this is where the game just spirals. That was one of my more recent games. That would be a little bit of a highlight game. And then... I guess the other one would be this. Where we play another TVC, except this is on Golden Aura. So, he is top left, I am bottom right. Okay, I don't- okay, I don't understand the gas trick with Zergs, but some Zergs do it. Some Zergs do it. Some Zergs do it. Some 
I just do my normal scout, just to double check that's not pool first. My Reaper just walks into his lanes. Yeah, I, I play, um, I believe I play triple CC Banshee this game. Oh, maybe I just play 1 1 1. Maybe I don't do that. Oh no, this is triple CC Banshee. What am I thinking? This is that build. Ha! <laughs> this is that build, I believe. So, of course, the triple CC comes down as his fourth is too. The Hellions do get a nice, you know, catch on with this. Of course, I don't think I kill it. But it's nice to catch a glimpse of the roaches to make sure that, you know, we know what army he's going for. And if you notice, I can put down two armories. I am playing mech this game. So this is a bit of a stronger map for mech. But this also can get dicey, because if you get caught too early, the zerg switch kills you. The mutas is probably the most dangerous switch. We see here he's going for Lurker Den. We don't, obviously I as a player don't know that in this moment, but it's one of the tech switches. He's on 62 drones, that is kind of suspicious. You should be on 80, considering I have done almost nothing. So I'm not sure what's up with that. But um, right now I'm just playing, I just have Talion Tank Banshee, which is kind of dicey because there's no anti-air in this army. And I'm actually not really on the map with outside of the Banshees, which one gets sniped now, so not the greatest thing. I go for my fourth at 9.30 or 9.20ish. I think this is normal, but this could also be late. Um, I obviously don't know about this base, but I just move out anyway, knowing that, you know, I kind of have to do something. I don't actually see that. I don't play this pro fight properly, but it's actually kind of okay I don't see job. Because Ravager Miles can just hurt. I will have 2 2 come up soon, but he's gonna have plus 2 missiles. And the big danger here is the Mutas, because we see Corruptors here, so we know the Spire's up. But the big thing here is not to siege the Lives and do not, you know, have no Thors in this army. The second I have no Thors is the second he can exploit that, because I have no anti air all of a sudden. All these siege tanks are so vulnerable without the Thors. So I'm forced to run back and just wait for my reinforcements. He's still chasing me, which is kind of an issue, but like, I'm still building Thors. That, okay, that's a misclick and a half. That should not have happened. But you know, we see Hydra, Corruptor, Muta. <laughs> this is not the strongest comp against mech, but you know, it happens. They, they're in the wrong mode here. They should not be in high impact mode, considering they're playing against Mutas. It should be an explosive payload. Seeing that I have no anti-air, I kind of just unsiege everything and just walk into him. I don't care. I'm just trying to kill what I can without losing everything. I kill 24 drones, and the two Thors show up. Or Mortars are actually showing up as well. And I basically just A-moving. I don't want to be sieged. I don't want to get caught for this. But I'm starting to build more Thors now, and I'm just going to go for his main. He is going to try to focus the Thors, but the tanks are going to kill everything else, so it wouldn't have mattered. I'm actually floating a lot of money, which is actually not good. I should actually be building more CCs at this point. Blue Thame is also very late in this game, too. Yeah, this is a bit of an odd mech game, because this was kind of on a whim of like, I'm going to play mech. And this is kind of what happens, but uh, it happens. Yeah, this guy struggled a bit. But yeah, those are just two highlight games recently, and uh, thank you for watching.